Hi guys, it's Ali here and welcome to today's video. So today we're going to do some mixed media tags. I've got my tags ready and I've used this die here. I think it's a Tonic Studios die. So I've cut my tags. I've cut six and I've used some watercolour card to cut them with. So I'm going to work on three at a time. Okay, so to start us off with, I'm going to go with reds. So I've been in my inks and got my red shades out. I've got Barn Door. Festive berries, fired brick and candied apple. So I'm just going to put it all over my mats. I'm just going to mix the inks. And that's the festive berries. Okay, so I'm going to use my spritzer. I'm just going to spritz all over just to activate the inks. I'm going to add quite a bit of water. make sure I've activated them all okay so we've got all that lovely ink there so I'm just going to get my tags and I'm going to put my tags through the ink now I'm not too worried about the back of the tags at the moment we can sort that out later I just want to get some ink on the front obviously they're going to get messed up I'll just put some tea dyed paper on them something like that. I just want to try and cover the tags very messy but very enjoyable just trying to cover them all um, I was going to do the colours each one by one but then I thought well they're all going to dry the same colour so we'll just do it like this so I'm just going to put my last tag through and this one's a bit lighter let's just add a little bit more water okay I'm just going to add a little bit more of this candied apple just spritz again I'm going to have lovely red hands for the rest of the day because it's a nightmare to get off these inks okay Right, let's get rid of that. Let's just grab a wipe. I should have got a mop up paper really, then save wasting the ink, but I never thought. So, okay, so there's our red ones. I'm just going to put on my heat gun and just dry off the ink. Okay, so they're dry. I'm coming in with the gathered twigs. I'm just going to put a little bit of this down. I'm going to spritz again. And I'm just going to put my tags through and just pick up a little bit of the colour just to grunge them up a little bit. I don't want too much, just a little bit. Let's just spritz that a little bit. It's a bit too much on there. Just want to grunge them up that little bit. Okay, and then before I dry these off, I've got my Distress Spray Stain in Picket Fence. I'm just going to put some white splashes onto the background. Oh, excuse the noise outside if you can hear that. I meant to shut my window before I started filming and I forgot. A little girl crying by the sounds of it. Okay, I'm just going to put on my heat gun and dry off those tags. Okay, so there's my red tags. I'm just going to put that to one side for the moment. I'm just going to get a wipe. Just give my mat a little wipe over. And then I'm going to come in with my greens. So let's just put them reds over there. Where is it to put the greens? I've just got three. I've got old, well, it's old paper, pine needles and crushed olive. So I'm going to do the same again. On the old paper. Okay, I'm just going to spritz over again. I'm just going to sort of mix it this time. Mix the colours together with my finger. 
just like so I'll have lovely inky fingers okay so I've got my other three tags and I'm just going to put these through and pick up that colour I love that pine needles I think it's a really lovely Christmas colour so just like so there's one let's just spray a bit more water I'm just going to shut my window over, just bear with me one second. I'm sorry about that, I could hear people talking under the window outside in the street. It's off-putting. Okay, let's just put this tag through. That's better. So there's that one, I'm just trying to cover it all. I'm just going to put a bit more of my pine needles down. Just spritz again. And then put this last tag through. Picking up the colour. Just want it a little bit darker. It probably is best to use watercolour card for this technique just because the amount of water we're adding um, you could probably do it with ordinary card but it would really warp the card I'm not sure what the results would be like I mean this is saturated now with all these inks so right let me just wipe up my mats I'm just going to dry off that colour before I come in with the gather twigs. Just dry off this one first. Right there. So instead of the gathered twigs I'm going to use my vintage photo. I'm just going to put a little bit of this down and I'm going to spritz again. And again I'm just going to put my tags through and just grunge them up a little bit. Just a little bit of that colour. And a little bit more. Just spray some more water. So, and the last one, as you can see they're really messy at the back but I'll have to try and sort something out. In fact what I'll probably do is when they're all dry I'll gesso, white gesso over the back of them because it, with it being such a fancy dye I wouldn't be able to put the tea dyed paper all the way over. So once they're all dry and, and whatnot, I'll just gesso over the back of them before I think about putting them into a journal. Okay I'm just going to dry off there. Okay then guys, so I've dried off my green tags, I've added a little bit of white splatters as well so we'll start working on them now, all I'm going to do is just embellish them a little bit, um, I've got some, I've got my Tim Holtz die cuts, I've got some other die cuts here that I might use, I've got this lovely Christmas tree here, I'm going to use this on one of them, these are deco, um, I bought these from Oh, what's it called? Um, Create and Craft. Yeah, they were on sale there, so I picked these up and I liked these Christmas trees. Uh, which one shall we have? Let's just cut around here. Oops, dropping everything. So we'll have that one there. Quite flimsy, to be honest, but they'll be okay. Now shall we put them on the red or on the green? Um, I don't know what to do whether to put the Christmas, yeah we'll put the Christmas tree on the green so let's just get rid of all these little bits of card and we'll put that on. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use one of my creative permanent markers and I'm just going to do a bit of a doodly border around my tags just to frame them I'm just looking for a thinner pen yeah that one should be okay I'm just going to do sort of a doodly black border just around the outside of my tag just like so 
just like that I'm going to do the same with these or am I um, do I like that border I'm not too sure no I don't I don't like that border so I'm not going to carry on and do that I'm going to throw that tag to one side and I'm just going to do the five I'm going to stick this Christmas tree down I'm just thinking do I want to put anything else underneath it first I may put some um, sheet music I'm just looking at the side of me for my sheet music where's my folder um, what have I done with it? Have I got any of my scraps here? Let's have a look. Um, why can you never find anything when you want it? Oh dear me, I've got that much. I won't be one second, I'm just going to grab my music, sheet music, just to turn when I can find it. I've got it. Yet again, I've had another tidy round and lost everything that I'm looking for. Um, I think I'm just going to use a little piece of this. I'm going to have a look anyway. I might not want it on. If I... No, I don't want it on after all that. I just feel like I need something else in the background there. I don't know, maybe just a little word at the top. I'm going to use my vintage photo anyway. And I'm going to ink around my tree. I'm going to ink around my tag and grunge my tag up a little bit. So I'm going to stick that Christmas tree on there. I've ruined the other one, so we're not going to use that one. We'll just use these two. Um, right, we want something to go on here. I've got this Ponsetta flower. But I think that might be better on the green. Yeah, that's better up there. Sorry, I'm knocking the camera. I've got some holly. We could put that holly on there, but I don't know if that gets lost in the green. Um, no, we'll put that on there. Yeah, we'll put that holly on there. And then see if I've got room to stick a little quote or a little word at the bottom. Maybe. Right, let's just get some glue. Uh, I think I'm going to use my three-in-one just because... I think it'll stick better onto all that ink. I don't want it to come off in a journal, so I'm just going to stick that there. And then I've got the... These are three-dimensional, these holly leaves. They were in a kit I got all oh, years ago for card making, and I dug them out, thought I might as well use them on as embellishments. So let's just... I'm going to put that down there like that. I'm not bothered that it's hanging over. I can cut that off. Let's just get my sticky scissors. I don't want to ruin my good scissors. Just cut that off there. Now let's see if we've got enough room just to put on a little word at the top. We don't want that music sheet music after all that anyway. So let's just have a look. Um, I've got these... Christmas Noel, the Tim Colt's ideology part, and it's got the Christmas quotes in, Christmas words in. So let's have a look. Oh, found a father Christmas there. Uh, we just want some little ones, don't we? What about that? The best tree. That'll go nice on there, won't it? We'll stick that there. And then um, just want something small to go at the top there. Um, look on the next page too many to choose from um, I just want something little make a wish there you are we'll have that one there just like so so we'll leave them to one side because I'm going to use them again I have got some twine somewhere here if you can find the end of it it's a new one this God knows where the end is is it there I'm just gonna have to pull it and hope for the best no, that wasn't the end. Where's the end? Oh dear me. Fingers and thumbs. Let's see if we can find the end. There we go, I've got it. Okay, so I'm just going to use a little bit of this. Or should I use some ribbon? Let's see how... Th Let's see what this looks like. I don't know whether it's going to be thick enough. I'm just conscious of them going in my journal and being too bulky. 
no that's okay we'll just leave that twine on so let's put another piece on here okay right there we go so there's those two red ones we'll put them to one side for the moment bring in these green ones right I'm just going to ink around the edge of my tags first before we put anything on there I'm not too sure whether I like that dye actually yeah I'm not 100% sure whether I like it but not to worry we've made them now we will use them I'm going to use this poncetta flower on one of them so let's just grab some glue some glue on the back of here okay let's stick this down I'm not too sure whether we'll have enough room for a word on here we might do let's just put it there and I'll cut this a little bit off the bottom let's just get rid of that glue we'll cut, rid cut that little bit off yeah that's fine so we've just stuck that one on there right we want something to go on these two now what about one of these for the Christmases let's have a look I think we'll have one of him very strange things these to, to cut around they are nice though I like them okay let's just trim off these little bits on here just like the little tabs that you've pushed when you die cut them will Santa fit on there uh, yeah just about so let's just put some ink around the edge of him we'll stick him down oops okay I'll we'll just put him down there we might just be able to squeeze a little word in at the top there so we've got those two with the flower and oh the Christmas what can we put on this one um, is there anything else on here that we could use yeah we'll use that image there of the children in the on the sleigh I think let's have a look how big it is make sure it doesn't look lost yeah that'll be absolutely fine on there just want to use these die cuts that I've bought because that's what I bought them for so right let's put some glue on here okay just stick that down there and then let's see if we can fit on a word I've also got some flowers here I've got these poncettas out but I think they'll be too um, they'll be too big to go on here I may put some don't know whether to put some sparkly some of these red gems on I'll have a look in a minute but let's get the words first okay what can we put on here um, let's find some little ones filling our stockings will that fit up there let's have a look um, no it's too big what a shame um, what about on the frosty hills for this one because they're on the sleigh in the snow so we'll put that there um, trying to find a small one for Father Christmas um, spirit of Christmas will that fit on there Oh, there we go that just about fits on there we'll have that one and then we want something on here um what shall we have something about a flower if there is anything it's too many to choose from um which one shall we have with good cheer we'll have that one we'll stick that one there okay so let's just put some twine on now I don't know whether to put some red gems on or not I think I will just trim that down a little bit so there's one oops which 
one. So I hope you're all all right, everybody. I'm okay at the moment. Yeah, I'm doing fine. I hope you are all okay and doing well. Just trying to keep busy, trying to keep the girls busy. Mind you, they're they're still at school, so they'll be looking forward to a break at weekend. Okay, so there we go. I've stuck the put the oh Alison the twine on the top. Should we stick a couple of these on? What do we think? Why not? Let's put some around the Christmas tree. I'm going to just stick three on there. Um, do I want them? No, I don't. I don't think they look right on there. Let's just see if we can peel it off. I'm very indecisive today, aren't I? Shall I? Shan't I? Um, no, I don't think it looks right. I think they look better without on this occasion. So let's just move that out of the way. And then I'll zoom in a little bit. In fact, I don't need to zoom in, do I? So we've got that one and that one and that one so we've only got five instead of six but not to worry and then those two so then guys let's just put them side by side there then I can, can you see there right let's zoom in that little tiny bit oops wrong way Alison Okay then guys, so there we go, there's my tags made for today. As always, thank you so much for stopping by to watch. Please come along and join me if you're not already subscribed to my channel. If you do, don't forget to hit that little bell which will notify you when I've got any new uploads. So until my next video guys, take care, thanks for watching, bye.